Hey neighbors, welcome back to another video of Cooking with Neighbors. Today I'm going to do a couple of things in this video. I'm going to show you what I'm making for my family today. Starting off with a 7-Up pound cake and then later on I'm going to make some supper. And I'm just going to put it all in one video. Actually, no, I'm not going to show you what we're having for supper because we decided we're going to have chicken fingers and french fries tonight. So what I was going to make, I'll make tomorrow. I'll film it and I'll come back with it and show you then. This is Jerry, come interrupting the video from the future. Let's get back to the 7-Up Pound Cake. So, anywho, my oven is preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm preparing my bunt pan for my cake. And I know I said it in other videos, but I'm going to say it again. Because I want, I want to share it, and somebody might be here for the first time and don't know. So, I make myself cake reliefs, a cake goop. So I put equal parts flour, uh, vegetable oil, or canola oil, or whatever, and uh, lard. So I usually just mix up a bit at a time. I put one third cup of lard, one third cup of oil, one third cup of flour, and I make this goop, and I keep it in my refrigerator. And it's great, especially for bunt pans. And I just brush it on in all the nooks and crannies and my cake comes out nicely when I do this. So I do it all the time now for all my cakes and all, all my pans and all my cakes because it works. And then you don't have to be out there buying uh, cooking sprays and stuff because you just make this and uh, keep it in your fridge. It lasts a, a long time. And do that. Your water's boiled, hon. Move this aside. This is a very simple cake to make. Back in uh, the 50s, this uh, cook uh, baking with uh, pop became popular because I think it started around World War II and they used like Coca-Cola and other pops uh, for a leveling agent. Okay, easy to remember recipe as well. It's not a lot of ingredients. So I have three cups of regular granulated sugar and a cup and a half cup and a half of softened butter. I guess you can use margarine, but I prefer butter. I learned this recipe, or I got this recipe from a cookbook that was given to me back when I was like 25, 26 years old. And I'm gonna cream these two things together for a few minutes. And it's gonna get really pale in color as it, as it whips up. I gotta zoom in. It looks so nice. Look how pale and pretty. Nom, 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 nom. So I'm just letting it do its thing for like five, seven minutes. So on my mixer, I had it like mostly like on a four. So if you're using a hand mixer, you'll have to turn, turn it up a little higher. I, I have five eggs, a large eggs. So I'm gonna add one at a time. And incorporate one at a time. I'm just gonna do that like on a two right now. And you can scrape down your bowl after each egg or as needed. Give it time to mix through and then I'm gonna add another one. I was just telling Donna, my favorite cakes, they gotta be pound cakes. Every weekend, my mom would get a pound cake. I had pound cake and sandwiches. Look how pretty those color the eggs are. They look good. Bring me on down again. Look in there. Have a look in there. 
I could wash this stuff all day long. And my last egg. Get the last drop. Now, I'm gonna add, now you can add uh, vanilla extract if you want. You can add coconut if you want. I'm adding lemon. Two teaspoons. And I have three cups of flour. I'm going to add that. I'm just adding it in slowly, okay? And three quarters of a cup of 7-Up. put it in slowly too. I think I got like a splash on the floor. Not think, I did. <laughs> and add that splash back. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. That's mixed enough there, Jerry. We're going to just get a paper towel. Caught on camera. There is a little bit of flour in there. I'm just going to use my spatula to mix the rest of it because I don't want to overdo it with the with the beater. Mm -mm, it smells good. Pour your pop in slowly. I used to have a bigger bunk pan. I wish I'd had it now. I ordered a new one. It'll be here tomorrow. What do you think? Holy Toledo. Now, got to get the air pockets out. I'm gonna put a pan in the bo in my oven to sit this on. Okay, moment of truth here. I ordered a new bun pan. I'll get it tomorrow. Because this bun pan really wasn't big enough. It started to fold over on itself because it wasn't large enough. This is like a 10 cup, so get like 12. If this video turns out, if the cake turns out, you'll see this. If not, I'm just talking to myself right now. So I took it uh, 375 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour and a quarter. Uh, you want a toothpick to go in the center of it and come out clean. And if it does, okay, so check it in an hour and 10 and see if it needs more time or not. And hopefully this comes out. 
You can use a knife, which I did off camera, just a little, see if it, work a knife around it or an offset spatula. Then they could come out. Oh, see that stuff? Oh, I knew it. Wasn't one cuter. Look at that. Looky there. Oh, ho, ho. Just a little interruption before the glaze, and the glaze is awesome. Little interruption. Rule of thumb normally, I went by the temperature of the recipe, but a darker, a dark bunt pan, like if you have a dark bunt pan, uh, bake your bunt cake at 325 degrees instead of the 350, okay? I'm gonna make it again in my, in my new bunt pan. I'm gonna be making lots of bunt cakes because I love them and I love pound cakes. Anyway, I'm gonna drizzle. Had this stuff uh, frozen in the freezer. I took it out and put it in warm water. It's just leftover uh, thin, thin frosting. I'll put across the screen like a glaze that you can make for this. Let's squeeze, don't squeeze it on the counter. This is still warm, but my icing is still a little cold, so. I'll put it on anyway. Yeah, use that cake goop and use the right size pan. Use the 12 cup and it will turn out even better for you than this. Doesn't that glaze look beautiful? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna overdo it. Now we gotta cut a piece. Time for a tasty poo. That's what I'm talking about. This was so super light, I guess, because of the five eggs and that in it. It's so good. What's there not to like about a pound cake? Oh my. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what, it turned out amazing. Amazing. I love the lemon. Really lightens it. Anyway. Two thumbs up on this. Like, share, subscribe, come back again. I'm gonna do a dessert a week and I have to start doing some appetizers too for Easter or something. But anyway, I got lots of stuff planned. So hit the like, hit the, not the subscribe and the notification bell so that you get notified and come back. Bye.